In this lesson I will show you how to create a copy of such a solid and how to change the dimensions of this solid quickly so that you get solids of similar shape but with different dimensions. And at the beginning it is useful to prepare such a solid for changes. And let's assume that in this case I will be changing the extrusion length and width and height of this solid. Therefore at first I will go to edit the sketch and I will name the dimensions that I will edit. Here I have an outer width and outer height dimension and an inner width and inner height dimension. Let's assume that I'm going to control only these two dimensions. So double click with the left mouse button on this dimension and here type D1 as the name of this dimension. OK? Then double click with the left mouse button on this dimension and here type D2 as the name of this dimension. OK? And I will still go to edit this dimension, double click the left mouse button and I assume that this dimension is 10 mm smaller than dimension D1. Therefore click this icon and here type constraints D1 minus 10 mm. And do the same with this dimension, arrow down to select constraints, enter D2, down arrow, and here minus 10 millimeters and click OK. Click close to exit the sketch and now to easily change the dimensions of this solid we no longer need to go into sketch editing or operation editing. All we have to do is select the sketch we want to edit in the operations tree. This is the sketch then expand the constraints parameters and here we have the D1, D2 parameters and now as we change this parameter here, enter for example 60 mm, the width of this solid will change. Similarly, we can change the length of the extrusion, select this operation and here change the value of the length parameter, enter for example 70 mm and the length of the solid has been changed. And ok, we have one solid and now we can easily create more copies of this solid. Simply select this solid in the operation tree, press Ctrl plus C, here we copy everything, click OK and here Ctrl plus V and we can create several copies of such a solid. Just notice that when I select more copies of this solid they are in the same place as the previous solid and now to move it select this solid and here expand the placement position and move it for example on the Y axis by some value and now move another solid now in the other direction. OK. And here we have three solids. And now we can easily change the dimensions of these solids. For example, change the dimension of this solid, expand the geometry of this solid, select the sketch and here as D1 enter for example 80 mm. Then select an extrusion and here as the length of the extrusion enter 100 mm and the dimension of this solid has been changed. Similarly, we can do it with this solid, select the sketch, expand the constraints and here change this value a little bit and change the extrusion length to 40 mm. And in this way you can create more copies of elements that have a similar shape but differ in dimensions. Only in this case all these solids are separate solids but they are in one project. If you would like to create such a solid in another project you can simply create a new project. And you can paste a copy of the solid from the previous project here, just Ctrl plus V and the solid has been paced. And here similarly we can change these dimensions.
and this is one way to create solids with similar shapes but different dimensions. And it is an easy way that doesn't require the use of any add-ons and it can greatly speed up the creation of parts belonging to a family of parts. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.